Here in San Francisco, we've got some amazing restaurants. Chinese, Italian, taco trucks. It's foodie paradise out here, but, well, with so many options, we rely on ratings websites, such as Google Places, Yelp, or Loop. That way we know who's got the best soy latte and who's got the nasty restrooms. Back in 2007, when the big banks were pushing interest-only mortgages and easy credit cards on us, the banks relied on three private rating agencies to cover their tracks and mask the risky debts. The ratings agencies gave out the best rating possible when they liked what they saw. Triple A. Million dollar mortgages to people with no credit history? Triple A. Three different mortgages on one Florida condominium in one month? Triple A. Greek bank debt? Triple A. Even the editorial board of the Wall Street Journal said we would be better off without these guys. But these three firms are some of the biggest players on Wall Street. Now, considering the shape the economy is in lately, I figured that the rating agencies must get really bad reviews. So I looked up Fitch, Moody's, Standard & Poor's on places like Yelp or Foursquare, and, and while those companies aren't listed, they have almost no reviews. Think about that. I mean, Imagine you're a bright-eyed, young, multi-billion dollar hedge fund slicing and repackaging mortgages to sell to some retired kindergarten teachers. It's your first time in the big city and you need some recommendations for a good rating agency. Whom do you turn to? I think the 99% can step up here. I think we can help out. I think it's time to rate the rating agencies. So, uh, here's the Yelp page for Fitch in Chicago. Some of these guys have multiple offices. Uh, pros, beautiful building, the elevator operator was super nice. Cons, complicit in the largest fraud in the history of man. Uh, overall star rating, I don't know, what do you think, like two stars? The elevator guy was cool. Ew, everything they recommended had way too much grease in it. There were like five bugs in the first spreadsheets they brought to our table. Why haven't the health inspectors closed this place? We won't be back. Great location, just a quick stroll from Zuccotti Park. Was that a credit rating we had or a blood type? The lobby has this huge revolving door, but it's only for management and the SEC regulators. 99% of us have to use the service entryway. Now you might say, come on, I'm not qualified to pass judgment on big financial rating firms, but don't give them too much credit. You are at least as competent as they are at ascertaining good from bad and right from wrong. So let's open the lines of communication. After all, if you live, work, or spend in this economy, you've been affected by these three firms. How do you feel about the service? Again, posting reviews on Yelp is no substitute for going outside and joining the Occupy Wall Street movement. The street is the heart of this protest, but successful businesses know it's important to listen to customer feedback. So let's give them some feedback. Have fun with this one, guys, and remember, if you can't occupy Wall Street, you can at least keep Wall Street occupied.